WWT presents Partner Spotlight. Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to another Partner Spotlight brought to you by WWT Presents. My name is Sean Callwai, and I'm the Business Development Manager for our data protection practice here at WWT. Today, I'm joined by Robert Shields. He's the Director of Product Marketing for Security and Governance at Cohesity, as well as my colleague, Dustin Zitzman. He's one of our data protection technical solution architects. Thank you both for taking the time to join me today. We know that today in the ever-changing landscape, cyber threats are not just constant, but they are becoming more complex every day. Because of this, cyber resiliency, data protection, these things are top of mind for our clients. IT and security decision makers are now highly focused on protecting their organization's most valuable asset, their data. Work is focused on securing the perimeter of their networks and integrating AI and ML into their models to move into a more proactive defense posture. It is challenging, but there is good news. The innovations that are taking place in this space really provide a positive outlook. And as an industry, we're rounding the corner on overcoming most of the bad actors who look to exploit and destroy our clients. So with that being said, Let's jump right in. Robert, improving visibility, validation, and control of enterprise data is actually the number one security priority for IT leaders, according to the recently released security priorities report from WWC Research. What is Cohesity doing to help in that regard? Yeah, so um, great question. When you look at Cohesity and you know what we're known for, data security and management, and what uh, most of our customers are relying us for, on us for is cyber resilience. And cyber resilience is a you know complex area. It, in, it includes the ability to withstand, which is cybersecurity, controls, defenses, and also the ability to recover from cyber incidents. So when we look at that equation, we're playing you know primarily in the cyber recovery area, but we're also supporting the cybersecurity area. Now to do that properly, you have to understand, you know, risk, you have to understand, you know, what assets you're trying to protect. Um, you have to understand sensitive data. So with our, our platform, you know, one of the things that when we, you know, target, uh, you know, um, workloads, environments, you know, we provide an indexing of all the available data assets. This is a great capability for organizations to immediately go out and find where certain things are at. We're also just, we just released data classification, uh, discovering classification capabilities. And this is really important for organizations to have visibility on their sensitive data. You know, the bottom line on all this, you know, we provide providing this visibility on the data is that you can't protect, you can't secure what you don't know about. So having these type of capabilities is critical for driving that enterprise uh, cyber resiliency. Great, thank you for that. Dustin, why do you think it's so difficult for our clients to get a grip on protecting their data? And practically speaking, what can they do to gain more control? Yeah, and Robert touched on it from a cohesity perspective and, and how they're enabling customers to really extend um, their capabilities from a traditional data protection platform um, and be able to give customers insights as to not only how they're protecting data, but also how they're securing data and how they can recover that data and, and what type of data that is. Um, because ultimately what we are seeing is there are a, a plethora of tools, almost a tool overload that our customers are faced with um, utilizing to uh, provide cyber resiliency. And ultimately, um, all of these tools are great in their own, in their own arenas, right? Um, but ultimately, it's creating an ecosystem with these tools. And that's something that um, I've seen Cohesity over, over the last, you know, I'd say two years of their product development really embrace is ultimately looking at your security, your compliance, your infrastructure, your network, um, and be able to build a framework around that that aligns with your cyber resiliency program. Uh, one of the things that we often see uh, when we were working with clients is the fact that um, there's almost a grassroots effort to build out a cyber resiliency program. And it's mostly based off of the tools that they're most comfortable with. Uh, that, that could be a data protection tool. It could be a security tool. Um, and we see a, a ton of effort being put 
um, from the operations team to to build out a program you know from the bottom up and some of those are successful and some aren't but ultimately uh, driving success and enabling success for those operations teams to build out a program um, utilizing a tool like Cohesity that can extend itself into those different avenues is where we see a ton of value for customers. Uh, it, Sean, you mentioned the, the WWT research and the security priorities report, and that's really where we, from a, 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 a partner with our customers, uh, look at providing comprehensive visibility assessments into what their applications are doing and what they're not doing, what's on the network versus uh, what shouldn't be on the network, and are, are there any uh, aspects of your applications, of your workflows, or of the items that are on your network doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Um, and then what we like to do is, is take that visibility that, that we provide customers um, across the network infrastructure that they have and, and provide a holistic approach as to, hey, what can we do with this data in order to enable you to achieve your cyber resiliency program, right? And better enable our customers to uh, be successful with securing their environment. That's great. Thank you, Dustin. Robert, another question for you. Innovation plays such an important part in all of this because our clients are constantly needing to keep up with equally, if not more innovative threat actors. How and why is Cohesity innovating when it comes strictly to data protection? You know, data protection, data security is a constant, you know, measure countermeasure game. You know, as soon as you come up with the proper defenses, you know, the bad guys do something more innovative, more tricky. And so you've got to make sure that you're keeping your technology up to par with their tactics. Okay. Now, for years, we've uh, incorporated uh, AI and ML in our product uh, for anomaly detection. We have a unique view on organizations' critical, mission critical data. You know, basically, we're ingesting all that data on a routine basis. Sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's hourly. Okay, and so that no other products out there have a open access to grab all that data and ingest it and analyze it. So we we leverage that because we do that on a constant basis. We can we can uh, understand. How does that data typically change? And when it changes in a way that's not consistent with the past, we, we flag that as an anomaly. Because in many cases, when data starts changing erratically in an organization, it means, hey, there's, there's some malfeasance going on. Maybe it's a ransomware attack. Maybe it's an insider threat. They're zeroing out data or, or blocking data. You don't know. So, you know, that, that's something we've had incorporated in our product. There's a lot of other things that are, that are going on. We just uh, launched an AI initiative. Again, understanding that we have a unique view on all that mission critical data, you know, on a routine basis, it's always updated. That provides organizations a great access to leverage AI. Leverage AI to gain, gain insights in operations, insights on risk, other type of, you know, key, you know, performance indicators of the organization. So we have that unique view. We um, launched that initiative with Microsoft uh, April 11th. Uh, there is a spotlight on security on our website that goes into details on that very exciting initiative. But a lot of things are going on with our product to make sure that we're providing the best defenses possible against the increasing sophistication and frequency of these uh, threat actors tactics. Thank you, Robert. Um, as a follow up with the recent release of DataHawk, can you please share a little bit more about that and what that means to our clients? Uh, great question. I, DataHawk's my uh, my pet right now. I, I really love the product. I mean, you can think about it, you know, the the Cohesi data protection platform that I've been referring to, you know, does a number of great things for uh, securing and protecting data. However, you know, we can do do more. And like I said, you know, we're constantly innovating. And what with DataHawk is what we've done is we've, it's like data protection plus. So there's a couple of new capabilities in there that are gonna help organizations really improve their security posture against these type of threats. So go through these real quickly. One is, we're, we have the ability to do threat scanning, to actually look at the uh, potential threats that we're bringing in from production data. 
Now you might say, well, gosh, we already have a lot of threat scanning going on in our production environments. Sure you do, but we can do this continuously and on demand. So continuously looking at that backup data, looking for what are called indicators of compromise, where maybe a ransomware attack hasn't launched, but the bad guys, the threat actors are setting up for that attack. And things are starting to change the environment that we can pick up with our threat scanning that goes, hey, um, it looks like you've got some indicators of compromise. There's some malfeasance potentially going on. There may be an attack happening. Also, if a ransomware attack happens, just a, another point on, on threat scanning, and all the production systems are knocked out, including the security uh, capabilities, this is the last man standing. So having this capability built into your backup immediately allows you to start triaging before you start restoring to a clean room and restoring all your security tools. So great capabilities there, proactively and reactively using that threat scanning. Uh, second, if an attack happens, I mentioned the uh, anomaly uh, detection where if we see data changing you know, from your production systems in a way that indicates, hey, there may be a ransomware attack going on, um, Immediately, we're going to we're going to let you know where that attack is happening, what sensitive data is involved, because that will gauge your response in the prioritization of the incident itself. If there's a lot of things happening, or it looks like there's, you know, anomalies going on in payroll data, boy, you know that that's going to ring some alarm bells. So that's the second thing that it does. It, it lets you know that if there's a suspected attack going on. What is the potential impact of that attack on sensitive data? The last thing is cyber vaulting. Uh, this is this is something that's basic, has become basic hygiene for all organizations now. It used to be you'd save data on tape, have a couple copies on site, but now CISA, you know, the cyber security infrastructure uh, organization, other uh, major government entities are all recommending that you have a remote cloud copy of your data available for the worst case scenario. So those three things, and the important thing about uh, you know all of these is we're driving those with AI and ML. We're not manu re um, relying on manual processes. The other thing too, is we made it really, really simple. You gotta remember a lot of the people who operate these systems, they're, they're IT folks, they're not security experts. So when it comes to threat scanning, do they need to know a lot of complex things about security? No, they hit a button and they scan. So that those things are, you know, um, really powerful in the product and will really help organizations improve their overall security posture. Yeah, Robert. And, you know, you mentioned making it simple for customers. What I uh, actually, you know, I, I really enjoy the fact that you guys made these offerings from your SaaS portal, right? And it's a function of your SaaS it, uh, uh, management, right? To be able to uh, leverage Helios and be able to run management operations um, from that interface, right, for customers is super critical, right, in creating simplification and ultimately your product um, roadmap and being able to integrate things into Helios is, is seen as a differentiator um, across across the landscape. Uh, and I ultimately see where you guys are looking to enable customers to um, provide the outcomes in a much more accelerated fashion than if they had to uh, utilize a a separate set of tool sets to accomplish the same things that you're integrating into your single platform. Um, so customers are accelerating their cyber resiliency programs. They're uh, creating more robust solutions. And then lastly, you touched on the Fort Knox and, and, you know, you mentioned CISA and, and NIST and, and all of the frameworks that we see from a cybersecurity perspective drive the conversation for our customers around what is, what does good look like? Right. What does good look like when it comes to aligning the city's frameworks? It's it's immutability, right? It's it's off site. It's a, a logical air gap to be able to provide separation of that data from your core production network. Um, and Fort Knox really accelerates our customers to be able to achieve that, right? And your customers, um, and that's where we see easy um, easy solutions, right, to achieve uh, a broader posture around security. Um, and then tying that into an incremental change towards their cyber resiliency program on how they'll recover, right? What does recovery look like when you're leveraging Fort Knox? Um, how can we utilize uh, Cohesity as a solution, as a platform um, to better enable your cyber resiliency program? Yeah, you know, Dustin, you, you, you emphasize the easy 
part of this, and that's really critical. I haven't had the, let's call it privilege, of being part of an incident response, you know, when a ransomware attack happens. But I, the, the folks on our various teams have been. And what they have communicated to me is that it is absolute chaos, no matter how much you plan. You know, there's things going on that aren't expected. And the things that you want to have available to you, one, you want to make sure your data is available. And two, you want to have a basic set of tools to start looking at that data and ensuring that, hey, if we, you know, um, you know, recover this data, are there threats, you know, in that data? You know, in the case of Fort Knox, you know, it's it's not just, uh, you know, you have the data available, but it's worst case scenario. If a site is, you know, completely wiped out, you still have a copy of that data available for you. So, you know, all those things go into, you know, the, the way that we're innovating and driving our products is understanding when a disaster happens, when a cyber attack happens, it's chaos, you need reliability and you need ease of use and you need that scalability to make sure that you can restore as quickly as possible. Yeah, and complementing the visibility aspect that I mentioned earlier around security priorities and where WWT can help at least the identification process for customers is, is extremely critical, right? That identification will drive what needs to be recovered. Um, and through that, we have cyber resiliency workshops where exactly. we'll sit down with customers because, you know, and, and this is something that I'm sure from a Cohesity perspective understands, it takes a village, right? The, the cyber recovery and cyber resiliency ultimately uh, involves a business decision, right? It involves uh, your corporate IT network. It involves legal and compliance um, and getting all of those people into a room and discussing what is your critical business processes or functions that need to be able to be recovered and restored quickly in the event of a, a ransomware event or, or cyber um, scenario that, that you need to recover. And, and so we help facilitate those conversations with customers and help give them perspective based off the engagements that we've had in the past on what does good look like, right? Where should you focus your time and your effort? And when you look at a solution like Cohesity, right? How is that complementing your strategy, right? And ultimately, how does it accelerate your strategy? How does it drive you quicker to that finish line so that you can go back to your auditors, you can go back to your cyber insurance companies, right? And provide that outcome right. where you can at least, you know, reduce, maybe reduce your cyber insurance costs, right? Or ultimately provide your auditors a clear line of sight as to how you would recover from a cyber event. Yeah, really critical. The it takes a village, it's a team sport, however you want to put it. Uh, having that team available when something happens. The expertise that you folks bring in, the reliability in the products that we provide, that is critical because when it when it happens and it's, uh, you know, you're a retailer and Black Friday is two days away, you don't have time to mess around. You have to get those systems up and running. Great. Okay, thank you, uh, Dustin and Robert, for that. Dustin, for you, you know, you talk a little bit about the workshops, um, just some other things that we have going on. Can you elaborate a little bit more about how we are putting these things into action within our Advanced Technology Center and ultimately into our clients' environments? Yeah, uh, Sean, thank you for the question. Uh, and WWT has been consistently and still growing our security our cyber resiliency and our data protection practices um, to better align with uh, where our customers are interested, right? And, and what is driving the market today um, and, and where we see our ability to help customers with um, the Advanced Technology Center, right? We have five data centers, millions of dollars of equipment and OEM infrastructure to be able to supply customers uh, uh, the, the ability to workshop solutions, the ability to test and validate solutions. Cohesity being one of those prominent vendors that, that we partner with to be able to uh, enable customers within our own infrastructure um, the highlights of their integration with, with other OEMs, right? So if you go out to the platform, WWT.com, um, you can take a look and just search for Cohesity and see all of the labs um, and work that we're doing there. Uh, we're also developing uh, tabletop exercises um, to help customers understand what it's like 
um, when those events occur and how they're how they can be responsive to those events and our feedback from that perspective. Um, and then we also have published today the cyber range where customers can compete in you know, fun, interactive um, and dynamic red team and blue team exercises. From a future perspective, we are, and Robert mentioned DataHawk's availability for customers today. Uh, we're working on integrating that into our lab infrastructure, uh, making sure that customers are able to experience the power of the anomaly detection, uh, the threat hunting, as well as the, the identification of data that is being protected and, and the sensitivity uh, therein. Um, so we are working through the ATC with our customers um, through a variety of ways, um, not just through what we would facilitate from a workshop perspective, but we can take those workshop outcomes, right? And then we can apply the technology to the conversations that we're having, um, which is very powerful for our customers to be able to make that connection. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, you know, when you talk about um, just everything that can be done in the ATC, you know, one thing that, you know, rings true for me is, you know, making things, simpler for our customers, simpler to their time to market, um, simpler in making decisions. So a question for, for both of you, perhaps, there's a, a great video out on our platform from Cohesity CEO and President Sanjay Poonin. Um, he lays out the vision for the next era of data security and management, and he highlights the three S's of so security, scale, and simplicity. So focusing on simplicity, because again, so many of our customers, they talk about, you know, issues with, you know, too many tools out there, the complexity of their security toolbox. So my question is, how are WWT and Cohesity working together to combat that complexity and just, again, making it easier for our clients to move forward? So Dustin or, or Robert, either of you, uh, please weigh in on that. I'll, I'll start off on that. I, 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 it's interesting, scale, scalability, security, and simplicity. You know, you would you think that might be some type of marketing mantra, right? But it actually has a lot of meaning to the challenges that, you know, Dustin, our 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 mutual customers are, are facing. So, focusing on simplicity, why is that important? Well, the last thing you want when you're trying to ensure that you have cyber resiliency, business continuity, is a bunch of different tools trying to do, you know, backing up data and making sure the data is safe. So from a simplicity standpoint, one of the things that, you know, we focus on, and this goes to scalability too, is the ability to manage all those, you know, critical mission critical um, uh, data assets across the organization through one council. And, you know, when you talk about simplicity too, I, you know, I, I do executive briefing centers here um, at, at Cohesity, you have the chance to talk to a number of CIOs and CISOs. And one of the things that, you know, when we talk about the capabilities of our product, our ability to find threats and data, you know, it's always like, hey, I don't want another council that people have to work from. So when we talk about simplicity, you know, we announce the Data Security Alliance, CrowdStrike, Mandian, Palo Alto Network, Cisco, Zscaler, all those leaders. And the reason we're doing that is we want the integrate into the existing customers' ecosystems. When we find problems with data, leverage those existing processes so that, you know, basically, you know, the, the customer can, you know, ha leverage everything that he's already done, all the practices they know to ensure seamless response when we're finding things. So that, that's that's some of the stuff that's addressed by simplicity. Just a, a small little tad of what's being addressed by simplicity. But Dustin, I'm sure you have a, a few more. Yeah, when it comes to simplicity for WWT, where we see customers really accelerate their solutions is around our automation practice and, and how we're able to uh, really expedite that time to market and time to value with, with vendors like Cohesity and being able to get to day two operations in a much faster way. Right. Um, that simplicity that Cohesity provides just from their platform where customers are able to consume and understand and, and the intuitive interface that they provide customers is 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 almost unparalleled. When you look at how customers need to scale with data protection solutions, um, that's where we work with uh, our supply chain capabilities in the NAIC. 
right? And we look and we compare what our other customers are doing at, at large scale, right? We have very large enterprise customers that are looking to protect uh, similar, sometimes unique data, but being able to take those lessons learned and be able to use um, that information from our existing install base to scale out solutions and to drive a faster time to market. Even when we talk about a supply chain, let alone the architecture and designing of a solution um, to protect your enterprise environment. And, and then lastly, security. I, I know we've touched on this a ton, right? But ultimately our security practice uh, along and complementing our cyber resiliency services and being able to provide customers not only a, a secure solution, right? Um, a secure outcome, but then ultimately making sure that there's a programmatic approach um, to how they're developing their solutions, how they're developing their strategy, and that ultimately a, a solution like Cohesity and all the benefits that it provides customers, um, we're able to make sure that all of those capabilities align with their broader program, whether that be around security, whether it be around their scalability um, or simplicity. And, and then lastly, the one thing that is important that I see Cohesity providing customers is efficiency. Um, and that goes across the entire three segments here, right? They're efficient in how they strategize around security. They're efficient in how they scale, right? With their data reduction capabilities that they provide customers, as well as the differing models of, of infrastructure hardware that they can support. Um, and then simplicity, right? They're efficient in how you manage the environment um, through a SaaS portal. They're efficient in how they can provide outcomes for customers. So. That is in direct alignment with what we value at WWT because that is where customers are focused and, and where their interests lie. Well, it, it all aligns to real world challenges. If you think about security, you have to have that focus there because the threat landscape is continuously changing. It's escalating. When you look at scalability, organizations are growing their data. You know, it's data proliferation is going crazy. You need to be able to keep pace with that. And then simplicity just the complex issues that organizations are facing, not only from operations, but from compliance. You think about all the regulations that are out there. You need solutions that are simple, that aid the operation and the efficiency of the organization. So these are addressing real world challenges. And again, this isn't some marketing tagline about you know security, scalability, and simplicity. These address real world challenges that all organizations are facing. Yeah. And and I do appreciate uh, the line of sight that you guys have with Mohit and Sanjay uh, on the understanding that AI is, is going to be a complete shift in how we uh, consume data, right? How we look at technology um, and that leap forward where vendors are looking to leverage that in unique ways and, and provide value back to customers. I think having that line of sight, right? Having that roadmap of, of being able to embrace AI more holistically into your solution is, is going to become a differentiator, right? And how you're able to leverage um, the capabilities of, of what's available there in the open market, but ultimately make sure that you're being tactful on how you approach. And I think you guys have a very, uh, a very strong approach and a very uh, well thought out um, uh, perspective on how you're going to govern the utilization of AI on your product. Yeah, and AI does support all three pillars. And, you know, quite frankly, you know, the, the organizations that embrace that are going to, uh, you know, they're going to compete better and they're also going to withstand and recover better too. It's, it's very important for organizations to embrace that and, uh, you know, leverage it for, you know, their, their security reduction of risk and, you know, the general business efficiencies that, uh, you know, are, you know, one of the ultimate promises of AI. That's great. Thank you both for that. Um, one last question. So, you know, we've talked about all these, these great things that we're doing together. I'm curious that, I'm curious to, to hear if there's any engagements, any joint engagements that we can detail to provide some practical ways forward for those watching today. Robert, I'll, I'll start with you. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, area there. You know, when, you, when we talk about our solutions, you know, one of the things we don't want to say is that, gee, you buy cohesive and you don't get hit by ransomware. What we do say is you will survive getting hit by ransomware. And one of the things that, you know, besides all the product capabilities we, we're providing, we do have a, a cert service that uh, any customer can call at any time and 24 seven, you know, around the world, 365 days out of the year, if they have an incident, ransomware attack, 
they are, you know, again, you know, Dustin, as we said before, it's chaos. I mean, things are crazy, you know, when, when these things actually happen. Uh, they're there to, you know, help the customers out, make sure that their backup copies have integrity. And, you know, that's every customer who's, you know, uh, had an incident, they've been there and they've helped them successfully, you know, recover. You know, there was an incident that happened with a medical provider where uh, they um, they got our cert team involved. Immediately, they started doing the forensic analysis, making sure the backup copies were were uh, available. But they also guided the customer that, hey, with your backups, you know, you're a medical provider. You know, we can give you instant access to your, um, you know, your important uh, data files. And for a medical provider, those customer, um, you know, patient records, those were very, very critical. And they actually allowed the customer to immediately start providing those critical services to the patients because they had the access to those medical records while they were looking at all the other data and helping them along with the restoration process. Yeah. And, you you know, you mentioned the chaos of situations, right? And, and making sure, you know, your customers have an eye, line of sight as to what their communications plans are going to be, right? Which vendors are they going to reach out to? And, and do they have those vendors' contact information stored somewhere not on their corporate network, right? So they can call the CERT team from Coecity and, and get you guys engaged in an effective way without uh, trying to Google, you know, the, the support hotline. Um, but, you know, joking aside, right, it is a serious threat that we see, right, and making sure that our customers are well equipped and, and have a, a well thought out plan as to how they're going to respond to these events is, is critical, right, and understanding that a vendor um, is going to extend themselves to that reactive um, uh approach right to rolling up your sleeves and, and getting engaged with a customer when the event is occurring right and have an organization and a facility to support that um, we see a ton of value in that uh, and providing customers a certainty because uh, as you may know right uh, a cyber event can occur at any time it could be occurring right now on customers networks um, right. and maybe the folks that manage their backup infrastructure are, are on a flight or on a cruise, right? And they need to rely on the vendor um, alongside their own support staff to be able to supply um, a recovery capability. Um, and so overall, you know, when we look to provide customers our opinions and our perspectives with vendors, right? We look at all of the comments and, and, and all of the uh, elements that you highlighted earlier, right? Uh, simplicity, security, scalability. We, we talk around cyber resiliency and, and what their program should and could look like. Um, we ultimately develop plans for them, whether it's utilizing the ATC in our labs and capabilities to, for customers to be able to test and validate um, products and capabilities. Um, we partner with our vendors, right, with Cohesity tightly to make sure that uh, our customers are well informed and they understand what the solution is going to provide them um, and, and make sure that we're complementing your technology, right, with the right services approach, whether it be automation or whether it be security or implementation. And so what I would ask, and I think, Sean, you know, you'll touch on this a little bit, is, is working with Coecity and WWT is, is, a, is a very tight, tightly integrated um, solutions providers, right? Um, working across your data protection landscape, how that bleeds into your data security perspective and how that will evolve into your cyber resiliency program um, is where WWT can help, right? And, and obviously Cohesity has a, a, an immense platform to be able to enable that and accelerate your outcome. That's great, thank you both. Um, that is our time for today, but I just, I really appreciate both of you uh, spending, you know, a few minutes with me discussing this really important topic that I know is paramount for many of our clients across all industries and verticals. Uh, thank you to our viewers that are tuning in on WWT.com. If you'd like to learn more about our partnership with Cohesity, please visit the partner section of the WWT.com platform. You'll find a ton of great information, including thought leadership articles um, on this very subject, and as well as labs you can launch on demand. Also, feel free to reach out with any questions you have moving forward, and we will see you all next time. Thank you.